unshaved women rarely make history. That's a quote from Laurel Thatcher Ulrich. So a few years ago I was shopping for a birthday card for a friend of mine and I came across this card and I thought it was so adorable that I ended up buying it and putting it on display on my own desk and I look at it every day and I laugh at it. Funny as it is, there's actually a lot of truth to it. If not for women like Amelia Earhart, Sacagawea, and Rosa Parks, we'd all still be stuck in a man's world. I don't know about any of you guys, but I was never willing to sort of sit back behind the scenes and pretend like I didn't have anything to offer just because I was born with a vagina. Yes, I said it. Vagina. It's not a bad word and it's also not a sign of weakness. So there was a story in the news in Sweden in July 2016. Mikhaila Kellner was dubbed the Bikini Cop after a photo of her restraining a suspect and pinning him on the ground earlier this year was shared around the world. And there is a picture of her. Apparently she was out sunbathing when this pickpocket came by, stole from her, and she was able to pin him down and arrest him. And so I ended up looking her up because I thought it was such an interesting story and I discovered that she got sort of famous after this photo went viral and so she quit her job as a cop and started focusing on her new career as a personal trainer. So there she is, she's 41 years old, she is about 5 foot 4 according to this website and she only weighs 123 pounds. Even so, as a small woman, she was fit enough and buff enough that she was able to take down a man. More power to you, Michaela. I think that's awesome. Now, obviously, I don't know what level of fitness or strength the thief was, but I mean, how awesome is that, that a female cop was able to chase him down, pin him down, and make the arrest? If you're a man and you don't like what I just said, then I would say this channel is probably not for you. I am a woman, and I like the idea of being strong. Not necessarily so I can overpower a man, but at least if a man tried to overpower me, maybe I could give him a run for his money. I'm really sorry to have to break it to you, just in case if there's any assholes out there, but it's really not a woman's job to just sit back and allow her man to overpower her, or boss her around, or any man. I am definitely a proponent of true equality. And honestly, that's probably why I'm so competitive with all the guys at the gym. Obviously, nature dealt me the short end of the stick when it comes to brute strength from women versus men, but that doesn't mean I can't capitalize on what I've got. So here I am again to remind all you ladies out there, it is okay to be strong, it is okay to build muscle, and you should be proud of the equality that you deserve. P.S. Hot bodies on women are men's kryptonite, and in my personal opinion, that is why so many religions require women to cover their bodies. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and please don't forget to subscribe using the link right here. I will see you guys next time on Skinny is a Bad Word. Bye.